The relentless march of HIV AIDS continues across the globe with infections estimated at 33 million. The scientific community is making strides toward unraveling the mysteries of HIV due in part to the valuable clues from a unique group of people who have the remarkable capability of controlling the virus without the aid of antiretroviral medications. Called HIV controllers and long-term non-progressors, only 1,725 of these rare individuals have been identified worldwide. The search for them continues because their participation in clinical research studies is imperative to ex expediting the development of an HIV vaccine for AIDS. In this light, an unprecedented outreach effort took place in the form of a one-day symposium called Unlocking the Mystery of the HIV Controller on October 13, 2009, in the community room of the Notre Dame Plaza, a senior residential housing complex located in the historic Mission District of San Francisco, California. This event, co-sponsored by the Shanti Organization and Zephyr LTNP Foundation, assembled a diverse group of activists, journalists, researchers, and members of the PLWHA and HIV controller communities for an informal dialogue on the biologic factors underlying natural control of HIV and the psychological factors associated with immunity and resilience against disease. For seven HIV controllers, this groundbreaking event provided an opportunity of a lifetime to meet face to face with other people just like themselves. Good morning. I welcome each of you to unlocking the mystery of the HIV controller. And thank you for your interest. My name is Laureen Willenberg, and I am the founder and the president of the Zephyr LTNP Foundation. I am a member of the group called Long-Term Non-Progressors a term coined by scientists in 1995 to describe individuals who spontaneously control HIV infection over time and who do not generally progress to AIDS. <clears throat> we are also called HIV controllers, people who may contribute valuable clues toward the development of a therapeutic vaccine. It is said that the collective group comprises 0.5% of the globally infected population. I am so grateful to my friend and my colleague, Clayton Robbins from Shanti for uh, helping me make this dream, actually a four year long dream into a reality today. Um, also for the Shanti's, uh, Shanti organization's generous support, couldn't have done it without you. And I also wish to congratulate you on your 35th anniversary. Job well done. I also wish to extend a very warm welcome to um, a special group of people present who have traveled long distances from different states to be with us today, including our guest panelists. I was inspired to create this symposium for the general public for many reasons, but mainly for these. To message the beacon of hope HIV controllers represent to the PLWHA community. That is the acronym that stands for people living with HIV AIDS. <clears throat> to clear up confusion about who is and who may be an LTNP or HIV controller. To provide a forum to discuss relevant clinical research studies and the biosocial factors that may play a part in the long-term resilience of HIV. It is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome our distinguished panel of clinical research scientists who will discuss their respective and important studies of LTNPs or HCs, HIV controllers. We appreciate their dedication to making discoveries and for their commitment to stem the tide of this HIV AIDS epidemic. Please allow me to introduce them. Dr. Peter Hunt from the University of California at San Francisco, thank you for being here. Dr. Doug Kwan from the, the 
Reagan Institute, Boston, Massachusetts, the International HIV Controller Study. Dr. Jay Levy uh, from the Levy Lab, uh, UCSF, quite the historian. We're, we're very fortunate to have Dr. Levy here. Um, you're an icon. Also, Dr. Stephen McGillis from the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland, uh, primary investigator for the LTNP study for the NIH. Dr. Barbara Shacklett, uh, fabulous research professional from U University of California, Davis. And also Jane Pinnell, who is the research coordinator for three new studies on HIV control, controller women. I have to be careful how I say that now. Does this mean that controlling women will now be sanctioned by research? <laughs> I like that. Thank you for coming. Um, Jane, uh, we, we got information late last week about these incredible new studies to be launched, and Jane asked to be included, and Dr. Shacklett has generously offered to share her presentation time with Jane to talk to you about those studies. So without further ado, um, I welcome you again, and please proceed.